everybody, welcome back to my channel. And as you know, graduation season is upon us, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to show you this DIY all the time grad cap cake minis. Let's begin. You first want to make your favorite chocolate cake batter recipe. Now the next step is a crucial step. You want to make sure that you butter your cake pan. Here I am using, I think it's like a cake mini half sphere pan, I think it was called. And you want to make sure you butter them or else you'll have a really hard time taking them out of the mold. So after you have buttered your pan, just make sure to fill up your cake pan about three quarters of the way up. You want to make sure you do leave a little extra room just because the cake will rise as it bakes. Lastly, you just want to bang the cake pan against the table, just kind of releasing all the air bubbles that may be at the bottom and just being sure that they bake evenly. Once you have baked them for the designated amount of time, you just want to take a knife and cut off the top half of your spheres. It's just easier to keep them in the pan when doing so, just so that you ensure you have actual even caps. Next, just flip them out of their baking pan. Afterwards, you want to be sure to melt some chocolate chips or some candy melt so that you can begin showering them to give them a hard mold on the outer surface. So here I am just showering each one generously, making sure that I am covering the entire piece of cake. Afterwards, I just poured the excess amount of chocolate on a cookie sheet lined with wax paper and placed it in the freezer. Once the chocolate has hardened, you want to take it out in order to cut it to create the top half of your cap. To do so, I found it easiest to use the unused cake for a template just so that you're kind of measuring to exact size. Afterwards, you want to place it in the freezer once again for it to harden. And you can actually completely skip this step. There are chocolate like square wafer cookies that you can buy at the grocery store or just chocolate candy bars and just skip this completely and just follow with the next step. Once your chocolate has hardened, you should have created these chocolate squares and the next step is just gluing them to the bottom half of your cap. So you want to just take some melted chocolate which is going to kind of work as a glue, basically the adhesive. You want to just add a generous amount to the bottom half of your cap. Then you just want to place the chocolate square right on top and hold it in place until the chocolate hardens and that will work as your edible glue. And then you just want to follow these steps for each of your graduation caps. The next thing is the tassel. So I'm actually using yarn but you can definitely use candy or rolled out fondant for this. But it's basically the same step, just adding a dab of chocolate and adding the piece of yarn or your tassel. Letting it harden and that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching and please subscribe.